Hello again, it's Priscilla Badsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and you can see little sheets of acetate cut with diagonal diagonals on them which I'm planning on putting paint on or dipping paint dipping into paint to create swipes. I'm not sure how this is going to go. This is a real new experiment. I've done this vaguely, not really, once before. I want a layer of black paint all over the canvas, but I don't want an excess because it has to be a certain thickness and not overly thick because overly thick kind of swallows things and what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't thin them out, it dissipates them somewhat so I don't get all of the effect that I want. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula. You can find it on my Amazon link. It's the best paint spreading tool I know of. I found this locally and everybody else has decided it's a great tool too. Well, lots of other people anyway. I know one that doesn't, <laughs> but it's my go-to for almost everything and I recommend it. And you can ask anybody who's got one and they will give you rave reviews, except for that one person that I know of. You know who you are, Janet. <laughs> she doesn't mind. She left hers with me. <laughs> she doesn't like, she didn't like it that much. Now I have like four and I use all of them. So, I'm not sure how this is going to start, but I have some red from Rust-Oleum. It's called a Scarlet. Ooh, that, that was a lot of canvas. I, I'm really glad that I was continuously dragging that paint there because it sort of caught up like there wasn't a good enough layer there. So I have a pretty good layer. And I'll worry about my edges later. But this is a really important stage for me. At least I think so at this point. And I'm going to wipe off that paint and scrape off the rest of it on the edge of my canvas. Throw that in the bucket. Get out my Rust-Oleum Scarlet, which is a metallic. And I want to... You know what? I'm just going to do some zigzags. We're going to experiment right now. I'm going to grab some Floetrol. Nice fresh Floetrol from yesterday with some paint in it still. Don't think it'll make any difference. I'm going to use some gold with this too until I know what else I want to use. There, Tara. I made another painting. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to grab, I'm going to take the paint off my fingers. I'm going to grab a small one of these with some Floetrol on it. And drag that out that way. I'm going to grab a little scrape dish. I bought these in the party section of Michael's. And I like that. I might not have to do anything else to this. I'm going to dip ever so slightly into the flow a troll again and go where I haven't gone before. As long as there's not a tremendous amount of excess paint on there, I think I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to take that one bottle that I keep knocking into out of my way. So I'm going to keep going where I can go and hope I don't learn the hard way what I can't get away with this time. And keep right on dipping back into my flow a troll. This could be really dramatic. I'm going to find myself another card and flip it over the other way so I can go in the other direction. And I'm going to leave a little color in between, I think. Putting a little pressure on the card. Not sure what to do with that. I think I'm going to double pull. And I might do that again. I might just keep pulling, even though I, I usually like some of the paint left behind. I'd like to see the full effect of this already. And I'm going to pull that too. Because I like the zigzag is pretty cool. And I can go this way with this one. This is neat. I recommend this. 
I'm not even done and I recommend this. I really like those zigzags a lot. So I'm going to go back to the other card, the one that I can pull in that direction, and just keep following along. I could pull in between too, there wouldn't be very much there. I gotta do it, I gotta know how it's gonna look. I think I liked it better before, <laughs> never mind. Should I leave this one or pull on it? Mm, I'm gonna leave it. Now black will often sell with gold anyway. So I should tell you guys pretty quick that unless I'm gonna do something else to this, <laughs> there's over 91,000 of you subscribed. It doesn't mean many of, many of them are watching and I need people to watch in order to keep my channel alive. So if you would share my videos, give me a thumbs up, add your comments, I would appreciate all that. I've got some really little tiny one of the, ones of these and I'm tempted to use those too. That may be coming right up. I'm thinking that some of these look a little lonely. I could add a little gold, couldn't I? Yes, I could. And the black is working out well. I did not mean to add a mouse tail to that. So that's better. I'm liking that. This is flow troll down here because there's no silver and no white in here which I really probably could have used. I'm going to go back to my other card. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and use my small card and see how that works in this small space. Just adjust that over just a little bit. That's pretty cool. The temptation is definitely to use another color, but I kind of like the extreme drama of this and I'm so glad I kept this color. I almost gave it away or sent it away at least. I do think some white metallic might be nice and I am looking for more places to balance the design out by pulling down. And I can keep doing that until I'm tired of it and I think I'm going to add a little more gold right here. I thought about making a, a fishtail or a split fin to do the same thing. You know, like two of these put together. There, that's better. And I'm getting, getting to the point where I'm thinking that um, maybe a little more red over here isn't going to hurt anything. And maybe a little fresh gold. I was going to put some copper in here and I think the copper would look pretty too. What I'd really love to put in is the Venetian blue. That would, that would just make me, that would, I would be stoked about that. But like I said, this is the first in a series, so maybe I don't really want to do that right now. I do see that I have sort of a leaning, uneven line, and I'm going to do something about it in a couple of places. And give myself a little more paint right there and line up my edge and pull down a little. Yeah, I don't think that all the paint has to be in exactly the center. That's bugging me. Um, this definitely, I'm going to be sorry if I ruin that. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just be very cautious. Will I? <laughs> Good question. Let's just pull what I have for right now. Oh, some of those are going to have to go. I keep thinking there have to be new things to do with this, and I'm sure other people are doing lots of new things, and I'm just not keeping up. Or maybe I'm doing lots of things, and they're not keeping up. I don't know. I keep trying to invent new things. I kind of want some more gold over here and I'm thinking that maybe I can do a double chevron. It is a chevron shape that I'm working with. Sort of, kind of, at least. I like working with the Floetrol a lot. It makes tremendous cells. I want to dip that. 
Yeah, I don't mind the double. I want to call it a double arrow. I might have minded that. If I've got any paint I want to use on there, I will just use it. There might come a point in time at some time in the future that I might contemplate using the edge of the card, which I'm doing already, or a spatula to add some more texture. I still want the blue and or the purple. I'm wondering what the purple would look like. Oh boy, am I going to do that? I just think it might be so fabulous I can't really resist it. And I need it to go that way. And I don't want all of it. I just want some of it. That just makes me want to try the blue. I don't know how much time I have left. And I always love, love, love the Folk Art Purple Color Shift, which is what I'm using. I'm going to flip my card over. I'm going to move that around so I can pull it down. I kind of like that. And like, I just love adding that color to things. What can I say? I have no excuse. The black is remaining. Oh, my sleeves are falling down. I don't like it when that happens. That wasn't so much. I'll be interested to see what it looks like when the flow troll dissipates. It dries matte, so you don't have any residual, really. Should I? Somebody's going, please try the Venetian blue. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I want to. So I'm going to do it. That was maybe more than I needed. And I don't know how it's going to show up in the black. Oh, I think I did the wrong side. Yep. It could be a really good thing. And sometimes if I have residual paint, I sometimes let it res relax off. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to do that again. Pick and choose my locations, though very cautiously. I'll leave my bottles not in the way. I'm going to move it up so that it covers more of the card before I pull it down again. I think I'm enjoying myself quite a bit now and I also think I'm going to give myself some more of that red. I'm going to use the blue that's already on there too and add a little more flow troll just because I can. Oh, that might have been one thing too many or I might get away with it. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Makes me want to use turquoise. Makes me want to use a smaller card too. I dissipate some of this. So let's go back and use the smaller card right there and stop soon yes because it could be a come a problem <laughs> I'm being called the turquoise and I kind of wish I'd stop to begin with but I'm I'm in for penny in for pound now that's not the turquoise I want I want a darker turquoise And I'm not minding the leftover paint on there. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like it more than I expected to, by far and away. So I'm going to try and use up my residuals. I could just move that right over and then pull through it again because it's kind of a lot.
I'm trying to think where else I would want this, and I've got a minute 46, 46 seconds left. And I'm thinking right there, hopefully. That's, this is, I like this. <laughs> you knew that a few minutes ago. I'm trying to remember. Oh, wrong side. At least I can flip my cards over. I kind of like that. And since it's the edge, I'm going to scrape it off to grab a little more flow troll. So if there's need for something else, I'm not sure what it is. This is different, but I am just going to keep going for it. When the timer goes off, I'm going to tell you guys, if you shop my Amazon link, it helps me out. And I really appreciate it. That was good. That needed to be there. Now I have to decide what else qualifies. And I might just put a skewer in here and roll that around instead of doing much of anything else to it. I like the I like the balance I've got now. Let's see if I can whoops. Let's see if I can find a skewer. I used far fewer cards than I expected. I really don't want a lump of paint on the end of this one. I don't mind I don't mind that there's a curve in my skewer, but I do always mind the dog hair hanging off the end of my finger. It's stuck in the paint. So just use the subtlest of leftover paint color. That's this is dramatic. So I love you guys. Like I said, there's over 91,000 of you. I really want some blue right there. Yup, that was it. I still feel like I probably should have put some Anita's White Metallic in there just to lighten it up a little bit. It might dry super dark. But I kind of like the drama of the gold anyway. And my lines are fairly straight and I love the interior zigzags. I do feel like if I put some gold anywhere Right there is the place to put it because that's going to help straighten out my my one issue with the line. It makes me feel like it's not quite straight. Hopefully, that's going to be okay. I'm almost done. I am. I promised myself. <laughs> Can't trust me. Okay, well, that wasn't a bad first experiment. I do want to pull that, that gold down with a little bit of, which way do I want to go? I can't go the other way, okay. There, that blends better. So I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to tell you guys again that I love you and check out my Teespring clothing underneath the video if you're ever in, in, interested in shopping for all of our print leggings or t-shirts or any of the other stuff that I've got in there. I'm going to do that again with that spot over there. As long as I can find my card. Because the lines are distracting me. And I like them, but I like them better when they're diffused. And the same with this one. So what else should I tell you guys? Time's up. <laughs> I got a minute left to tell you nothing much, except for I have a monthly drawing, and if you're interested in being in it, a contribution through PayPal or Patreon, where you can find the, um, the icons on my YouTube channel banner in the bottom right-hand corner, or the links on the link tree. PayPal and Patreon are there, with, along with Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My Facebook groups are called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and More for shopping, and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors for those of you who might be searching out the YouTube wet and dry artworks that are edited and added to the albums there. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos. Watch them longer. And know that if you watch them when notifications comes out, come out. It's good. On my Amazon link, check out for my two books because I can in Unlimited Possibilities. And you guys are going to be gone in a second. But uh, what did I forget? 
You'll see it in another video. I have over 1,800 videos. Check out my playlist, creative playlists. Ask me questions if you want, and look for my paint pouring recipe underneath the video's description. I do sell my artwork, and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida.